Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the MedicWall plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I wanted to uh, introduce this new uh, feature that I've added to the garage door module. So as you can see here on the screen, I'm just, I've gone ahead and already created this door, but I'm going to walk you guys through um, this uh, custom glass door. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, click the edit uh, opening button here, and then we will... I'll show you what we've got going on. Okay, so underneath the door install options, you'll notice that I've added this uh, new feature called custom glass. Let's go back, though, just to a regular um, uh, raised panel door, just to show you what that would look like. And um, as you can see, you know, there's no glass panels. And then you have the option, of course, where you can go to a glass raised panel, which will basically turn your top... Um, windows open these top uh, panels up as windows um, now the problem of course is, is well what about situations on um, these larger doors like this one for instance where a lot of times they'll have these two uh, lower uh, panels as uh, windows so that you can have you know a visual access into the opening so that is the reasoning behind um, the custom glass panel so we'll go ahead and back to the custom glass panel and you're going to notice when I select this option that this glass list parameter down here pops open. You'll notice all the numbers in here. So I'm going to head, go ahead and update. And you can see that we've got this all configured. But I'm going to go ahead and delete this here out. And if we leave it blank, well, then it just basically reverts back to a regular uh, raised panel door. So the way to customize this is you basically will have rows and columns and the first number in the ordered pair will always be the row and the last number will be or the second number will be the column so for instance if I go one colon one let's hit update on that you'll notice that now we've created a window there and then if you want to have multiple uh, you know panels they just just delineate them uh, by a comma so now I'm gonna go two comma or two colon two and I want to get the uh, kind of this diagonal effect going on okay so again uh, the first row is the top starts at the top and the first column starts on the left and then you just work your way across so if I go three colon three and then four colon four that should give me a diagonal across the door and then I'm going to work my way back across and then I'm going to go 5 colon 3, 6 colon 2, and then finally 7 colon 1. Okay, so now you got quite a string of, of numbers and colons and commas in there. But, as you can see, I've now created this kind of cool uh, diagonal uh, window orientation, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, um, but yeah, it gives you the option and, and, you know, you don't have to order enter these in sequ sequentially. So I could have put the 5 colon 3 at the beginning of the list, and it shouldn't matter. Uh, let's, in fact, let's try that. So let's go ahead and we'll put a window at uh, row 4 and column 1. Okay, so I put that actually at the beginning of the list here, as you can notice, and then all the other ones, right? So now we've, we've done that. So... Again, um, yeah, it kind of allows you to customize, put these windows wherever you want them in the door. And then uh, it's, I think it's fairly straightforward. I mean, you know, you, you have to pay attention a bit to the numbers and the columns and the rows. But uh, if you can figure that much out, then uh, you can basically customize your garage doors. Um, now, one thing to note is that right now the custom glass option only allows for raised panels. I probably we'll add in another option or two for no panels or for the flat panel option as well. So, you know, and that will depend also on, you know, what um, requests I get for this. Anyways, um, yeah, once again, thank you for the feedback and the ideas and uh, ways to make these, these plugins better. I'm always looking for uh, good ideas, and uh, this came actually from a customer. So, yeah, I'm always open to ideas. So thank you, you guys, and we will talk to you later.